The way you get there from here is by forsaking the familiar. Do you hear? Y'all, it's yours truly, Dr. Eddie. How you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Check this out. You know, we back again right here on the YouTube station, giving you that inspiration, keeping you locked and loaded, and uh, really helping you to level up, empowering you to level up. Listen, I'm helping you to do that. I'm empowering you to do that when you join my academy, the Eagles Academy, uh, where we focus on uh, showing you how to soar into success and purpose, how to turn your purpose into productivity. Uh, and then also uh, productivity and accountability. We have so many great leaders and partners and members uh, who are really accountability partners in our academy, family, our community, where we're all about uh, taking your life to the next level uh, through so much, you know, turning your ideas into income, your contacts into contracts, uh, how, to, how to find... Uh, profitability from your purpose yeah there's <laughs> so much more that's in store for you all you got to do is go right now a uh, soar yeah spread your we spread your wings i guarantee if you spread your wings you're gonna win soar right into our academy family www.theeaglesacademy.com can't wait to see your face in our digital space you know i'm back again you know i'm back again i want to talk about a particular topic called forsake the familiar forsake the familiar why is this so important why is this so needed and necessary um i remember at the the height of 2020 especially during the pandemic as we all uh know about um for some good and a lot of bad reasons uh where we we've lost loved ones and we learned so many life lessons um I remember hearing just just in my spirit, whatever you do best is what you should do most. Yeah, whatever you do best is what you should do most. That's that's become my mantra. That's become my motto. Uh, many of you all know me, uh, yes, as a speaker, but also as a writer. Um, since 2020, I've written five books. Whatever you do best is what you should do most. Generally. I wouldn't have ever written five books in two years. It would take me five years to write five books, right? When you think about all of that, it comes from the place of hustle, hard work, and seizing the moment. Yeah, forsaking the familiar is being comfortable, being uncomfortable. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You got to be uncomfortable being comfortable. I, I remember when I was so used to, especially uh, flying around all the time, uh, going on from plane to trip or whatever the case may be to speak. And all of that, in many cases, shut down at the top of the pandemic. It still didn't stop anything. I went to Jamaica. I went to Nigeria. I went all across the U.S., went to uh, uh, Zimbabwe and, and uh, uh, other places in, in South Africa. But here it is, not on a plane, literally from the comfort of my home, from my couch, dressing from the waist up, right? Putting not my purpose on pause, but, but accelerating it, pushing it to the next level, doing something different to get something different. Forsaking the familiar is, is really all about understanding this. If you don't evolve, you won't be involved. Come on, let me say that again. Let me say it twice because it's also nice. If you don't evolve, you won't be involved. The most dangerous place you can be in life is not when you're walking on water. It's when you're staying in the boat. Hear me. It's when you're doing the same old thing 
get the same old thing. Listen, for you to get out the boat, you got to get out the shallow end. You got to get away from shallow connection and shallow friendships and shallow stinking thinking that keeps you where greatness is calling you. Hear me. How do you get there from here is by forsaking the familiar. Do you hear? Let me say it again. The way you get there from here is by forsaking the familiar. Do you hear? And you, you can't just be a hearer. You got to be a doer. You got to be an action taker. You know, they say uh, an entrepreneur is like someone who jumps off a plane and builds a jumps off a cliff rather and builds a plane on the way down without a parachute. It's risk and reward. It's forsaking the familiar. There is no reward without taking the risk. Without doing something different to get something different. Right. Keep doing the same old thing. You're going to keep getting the same old result. Doing something different is going to equate to now getting something different. What do you do best that you should do most? What do you do best that you've been doing, but you can now do it in a different way? OK, you, you love being on stages, but but can you build a digital stage? I know you like the physical aspect, but can you build a digital aspect? Right. You, you love uh, uh, maybe it's not that everybody's reading paperback books anymore, hard copy books, hard couple books. Maybe they're on the ebook format or maybe your audience loves digital and then somebody else's audience loves the, the, the physical aspect of it. Do you know what your audience wants so that you can provide what they need? Are you willing to do an inductive study? Yes, on them, but also on you to know what value you provide. You'll never get what you want until you help people get what they want and need right you got to forsake the familiar you got to be able to do something different stepping out of your comfort zone listen we are creatures of habit by nature yes human beings we are creatures of habit whether it's you know our body responds to a circadian rhythm where we get up or go to sleep at a certain time or now we're we're feeling it in our body where we we get tired a certain time of the day right we're creatures of habit with with what we consume, with what we eat, with what we watch. Creatures of habit, with who we hang around. That's why you got clicks and crews. People are around who they're familiar with. So much creatures of habit. That's why people will ascribe to a Drake song, say no new friends. <laughs> because they, they only want to associate with people who they're used to associating with or who agree, who agree and will not challenge them in any specific aspect of their life. But beyond being a creature of habit, are you willing to step out of your comfort zone in the midst of the uneasiness, in the midst where it doesn't feel comfortable, right? The next level of where you're supposed to be, where greatness is calling you to move from here to there is not going to be comfortable. It's going to be turbulent. It's going to shake it up. Listen, whenever I'm on a plane and I, it's, it's Delta for me. I, uh, if you, if you listen, if you fly United, I hope you never feel divided. <laughs> if, if you uh, fly Spirit, I hope it's the right Spirit. Whatever airline you fly, I, I go Delta. It's Delta for me. Okay. And when you're flying and you're ascending to a higher altitude, sometimes here it is. You feel turbulence. Those people not plane riders, those who are plane riders, you know what I mean. The, the plane sometimes starts shaking. You, you can feel uh, the plane hitting something that's in the air that, that that's taking you to a higher altitude. Right. You feel the turbulence. Sometimes the pilot comes over the, the, the PA system and says, hey, hey, we feel a little bit of turbulence. Just uh going to batten down the hatches, everything is going to be all right. We're going through this specific uh, wind tunnel right here, right? Sometimes when you're going to the next level in your life, you're going to experience some turbulence because this is unfamiliar territory. For you to launch out into the deep, for you to set sail on uncharted waters, for you to ascend 
to another stratosphere of success is going to take you thinking different, moving different, speaking different, hanging around different types of people, right? Doing something different, creating different for you to get to a different place. Hear me. You can't get to a different place doing the same thing. I know you've tried it. I know I've tried it. Right? We, we, we want to go around it. We want to go under it. We want to go over it. But you got to go through it. And that's why I love the eagle. That's why I love the eagle is because the eagle, whatever the eagle does, this is what the eagle does. Whenever there's a storm, all other birds fly away from it. But the eagle gets happy and it flies into the storm. It, it understands that it's got to forsake the familiarity of its nest. It's got to forsake the familiarity of, uh, of where it has been on the mountaintop. It's got to forsake the familiarity of what it already knows beyond your own prior knowledge. And tapping into sometimes the storm and using the storm to go higher. Yeah, you got to spread your wings. You got to spread your mind. You got to open up your mind like a parachute. And a lot, rather than uh, having a closed mind and even a closed mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed on this boulevard. <laughs> Bring Rick Ross into it. Right? For you to be the boss in your life, it's going to take you moving in a new direction to get to a different destination. Yes. Got to go a new direction to get to the destination. It's about forsaking the familiar. It's about being uncomfortable, being comfortable. It's about understanding that if I don't evolve, I won't be involved. I got to do something different to get something different. I got to challenge. I got to change. Yeah. That's why uh, you saw in the New York Times at the height of the pandemic, 33% of churches were slated to close. Uh, unfortunately, black businesses took a serious hit uh, where they project, I believe, 45% of black businesses were deemed to close. Uh, technology was a new trajectory. Technology changed the game more than ever before. And so many individuals, black, white, Hispanic, uh, Latino, whatever ethnicity, Arab, Native American, otherwise, were now challenged to change. So many times we, we, we went out of business internally before we ever went out of business physically because we were stifled by tradition. Tradition sometimes becomes the Achilles heel. It trips us up, it keeps us down. But being able to change and shift the paradigm and do something different to level up is what's going to launch you to a new level. Listen, I want you to launch to a new level. Yes, by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you can get all the, the information and, and get up to date whenever I'm dropping a video. But I also want you to level up by joining our uh, Empowerment Academy, the Eagles Academy, empowering you to soar into success and purpose. We're all going to be hit with a storm. I don't want you to fly away from it. I want you to soar into it and use it to go higher. I'm showing you how to do that. Uh, this is a place where, <laughs> where purpose and, and productivity meets profitability. Yeah, yeah. Showing you how to turn your purpose into profit, your ideas and income, your contacts and the contracts, the, the healing, the transparency, the transformation in relationships, identity, speaker training, uh, faith, so much more that is in store for you tapping into the greatness because your greatness and your uniqueness are interconnected together. So join us, join us. Come on. Teamwork makes the dream work. You don't just go as far as your dream. You go as far as your team. Join my team and together we're going to win over and over and over again. Go right now, www.TheEaglesAcademy.com. Stick and stay. More is coming your way. We're going to keep you inspired right here so that you can level up. Stay locked in. Peace and love.